is not interested in a tank fight. Mm, yeah, he said he said that he wasn't interested in a tank fight. I guess because of most likely the the it's gonna be a it will be a catch weight, <laughs> and he's like, and, and to and, and to me, I, I'm in my mind I'm thinking, why would he? You know, say he's already accomplished this much. Why risk it against a guy that's like four weight classes above you? Uh, they don't have the same accolades. The only thing is people who see him, see, you know, Tank as being on that level. And even to uh, uh, part of a New Age comments was he see he does see Tank as a pound for pound type 10 fighter. Uh, he just doesn't think it's in the, in the cards for him. But I, th- I never wanted to see that fight anyway. <laughs> don't make any sense. But that would be probably one of Tank's toughest fights. You know what I'm saying? Like his meager resume. Now, I don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> no, nah, man, you got that dude. Like he's carrying that power up. They see what he's doing. The um, what's coming? Tank is too big, obviously. Yes. But what I'm saying is, is that until he clips him, it's not like Tank comes out and just be, you know, taking dudes out. It's like he take his time and he find those shots that he's looking for. But again, um, now that weight may just be too much for him as far as his frame. So even if he lose a little bit of speed or something like that, then that's gonna be bad. I just can't see a new way making no dang on one thirty five though, you know, because it seems like he's kind of maxed out. Like that right there is good. More he might start looking a little funny around his certain parts of his body, and then that also wouldn't allow him to move as effectively as he does because those punches come from so such weird angles that it's hard to be prepared for because it's nobody that you can you know, train against that's going to provide you with those looks. Now, Sheldon also says, who you guys have for fighter of the year, Monster, Crawford, or Haney? I know who, but stay tuned next week because we're going to do a pound for pound look. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, t- tune in next week. Sure. Tune in next week. Tank is too big, too skilled, and hits too hard. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, against who? Uh, dang on uh, Mario Barrios. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Oh, against uh, Pitbull Cruz, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, no, it'd be so I'd say Roly Romero. It'd be similar <laughs> to uh, Santa Cruz, except I knew it might have, you know, man, some I success. Man, I know like Santa Cruz, man. Come on, <laughs> you talking about a pound for pound? Like that's what you just mm-hmm. asked. Is it? Is it the monster? Like you, that's the question. So that's why I say I could never. I don't know. Like he might go up there and whoop take. I don't know. At least <laughs> I say that. What? Who has Tank fought that's a pound for pound type guy? Tank. That's my point. <laughs> right, you're right with that. You got me over there. Yeah, so that, that's the that's the point I'm trying to make. You know, I wouldn't count him out. He wouldn't fight Gary him. Russell if Gary Russell was calling him out. Exactly. He wouldn't fight what's called uh, the dude Tevin Farmer. Tevin you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, we ain't, ain't going to sit up here and make Tank like this guy who's unbeatable because I haven't seen him fight. Like, if he was taking out dudes who, like, got busy, I just know he's going to fight somebody that is going to be a clear advantage. Like, okay, you're going to catch up to him because he either drops his hands, he's going to stick in, a, in there a little too long, he gets tired, he's just not that good, Is he has a name, but, you know, and he talks a lot like Roley, but he can't fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he takes on dudes like that all the time. Where the monster... Who 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 would go up in a first fight and fight the toughest dude? They say, well, he he can't beat slick, you know, black fighters. First person he took in a new weight class. That's what I'm saying. Like he gets busy, and so if he has it in his mind to do it, and he wants to go ahead and take on somebody like Tank, if if it's in the, you know, cards for him to do it in terms of his ability to go up and wait, because Manny was doing that. You know what I'm saying? After a while, you'd be like, man, Manny better stay away from next thing you know, Manny up in there. I'm looking at, I know Joshua Clotty when he fought him. Joshua Clotty had the propensity to, like, hold his hands up too long, and that was, you know, but at the same time, that joker could bang a little bit, too, when he did let his hands go. You know, little stuff like that. He was going up there fighting them dudes, Margarito, or this person, so I wouldn't put it past him. All right, so he says, too much for the monster. No, he started at 108. Manny Pacquiao started at 101. And he moved all the way up to like 150. You know? How do we know he's not Manny? We don't know that. Man, I don't know. We didn't know Manny was Manny until Manny was <laughs> right, right. Manny stuff. That's true. But I, I, I always got to give a guy 
who's dynamic. Like, it's not like he's just going to these weight classes and inking out a decision. It's not like he's going to these weight classes and fighting secondary champions. No, he's going there fighting the best dudes. He's getting all of these belts. So I got to go ahead. I got to show him some respect, man, over somebody who's doing the opposite. Going up to 140, he'll get a catch weight against Mario Barrios and then <laughs> put a catch weight on Ryan Garcia. Don't want to fight Devin Hay. He don't even want to fight the dude. Oh, my God. I, I don't even think that's looking like I'm a hater, man. No, let's, go ahead and move on. let's go ahead and move. This ain't, this ain't even about tank, though, really. You know what I'm saying? All right, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button if you haven't done so already. The few last things, man. Y'all yeah, subscribe to the last ones at the Bar Boxing Channel, man. We got some boxing fans out there. Last ones at the bar. Exclusively, folks about the sport of boxing.